In today's video, I'm going to show you how to perfect your portrait retouching skills in Photoshop. If you're a beginner or you're a pro or an intermediate and you want to perfect your skin retouching skills in Photoshop, this video is the right one for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to smoothen the skin, how to create your frequency separation adjustment layers, and then how to smoothen the skin using the mixer brush tool and then some tips and tricks you can use to get the best skin smoothing out there possible. So this video is dedicated for you. If you found some value in this video, kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video as well. My name is Cordelia, by the way, and then welcome to my channel. Now, let's get started. So I have this image over here that I took for my friend. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below so that you can download and then practice with me. All right. So first and foremost, you're going to duplicate this background layer and then try and then remove a couple of stuff from the face. Look at this. You have to remove this and then you're going to remove this and this this pimples from your face first before we move to the skin smoothing side. Right. I know that's the main part. That's the part that a lot of people like. So we're going to quickly do this and then we're going to move there. All right. So let's just duplicate this by pressing Ctrl and G like this. And then I'm going to use the patch tool to do this. All right. So I'm going to select the path tool and the tools of the panel all over here like this. And I'm just going to circle like this. And then simply going to drag to a clean area. I'm going to do the same to the side. Circle the side as well. So any parts of the image that you don't like, you're going to do this to it. But then I'll advise you to take your time and then don't do this to a very large area. Just make sure you target just some small areas and then you're just going to do this to it, right? So let's just, um, I say browse the image, just go through the image. And then just keep removing the parts that we don't like. So you circle and then you drag to a cleaner area, just as I'm doing over here. So let's just do this over here. So, and then we have this over here. I'm going to, I'm just going to remove it. Then I think our image is looking okay for now. Let me zoom out. So we check. Yeah, our image is looking okay. Yeah. All right, there's something over here as well that I'd like us to remove. So let me just remove this also. And then this as well. Always make sure whenever you, you circle to remove, you just drag it to an area close to where you are editing, not somewhere far. Yeah, because the textures over there might be different from where you are actually editing. So that is my advice. All right, so let me just... Zoom out, fit to screen, control zero. And then let me zoom in once more. Yeah, our image is looking okay for now. So let's go ahead and then create our frequency separation adjustment layers, right? So we're gonna just control J like this to duplicate our layer one once again. Let's hide the first one. Double click on the name to rename it to color like this. And then we're gonna make our first layer visible that's layer one copy and then we rename this again to texture yes when you're renaming make sure you click you double click on the name not on the layer when you double click on the layer it's going to give you another another thing yeah so that's how you rename a layer in photoshop right so we have this so we're going to select the color layer and then hide the texture layer like this and then we're going to come to filter blur Gaussian blur. And then we're going to keep the radius at 4.1. I think 4.1 is okay. I'm going to select okay like that. As you can see, our image is looking blur. This is just to hide any visible details in the image. Yeah, that is the main reason for this. So we're going to make the texture layer visible once again. Then we're going to come to image, applied image. Then we're going to keep, or you're going to change this, the layers to color like this and i'm gonna change or keep the blending to subtract over here the opacity at 100 the scale at 2 and the offset at 128 these two things are very very important so please make sure you pay attention to it the scale at 2 and the offset at 128 i'm gonna select okay like this now i'm gonna come back to the layer over here the texture layer over here and then we change this 
to linear light. As you can see, our image is back to how it was before. All right. So we're going to now put this into a group. So we're going to select a texture layer and then press and hold control and then select the color layer as well and then control G to put them in a group. And let's rename this to FS. That is frequency separation. So a quick one, if you like this action played for you automatically, I have it in my data store. So you can just check it out and then just download it. Name is according to your frequency separation, ultimate frequency separation. I have it over here as well. So you can just go load it into your actions and then just play it. And then it's just going to play everything automatically for you. So you're just going to proceed from this side. So you're just going to open it, select the color layer, and then just proceed from there. All right, so we're gonna go and then start retouching or smoothing the, the skin of our image. All right, all right, so we select the Mr. Brush tool. If you follow my tutorials carefully, you know I normally love to use the Mr. Brush tool to do this. So we select the Mr. Brush tool. I'm using my stylus to do this as well. So I'm gonna just increase the size like this, zoom into my image, and then I always love the stats from the forehead. You can just start anywhere you want, but then I just love to start from the forehead. So I'm just going to start brushing gently like that. Make sure the color layer is selected and not the texture layer. And then, yeah, before I forget, always make sure you have this settings right as the mixer brush. So else you're not going to get the best result or you're going to get something different. Right. So set this to soft round brush like this. And make sure this is set to clean brush aside, it sets clean brush. And then make sure this is deselected and this is selected. These two things, please pay attention to that. And then make sure this is set to custom. And then the width at 50 or 56 or anywhere around that area. And then load at 16%, mix at 31%, and then the flow at 48%. That's these are the settings I use that really helps me. And then this at 10%. Yeah. So let me just go ahead and start brushing. Just start brushing gently like that. So you just brush within the tones of the image. Don't mix things up, please. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead, brush gently like that. But just make sure you take your time when doing this for the best result. Yeah, so um, I'll take this opportunity to ask you guys to kindly go to my TikTok page and then follow me over there. I'm trying to build it. Yeah, I'm trying to get thousands, uh, sorry, thousand subscribers, thousand followers so that I can start streaming over there. Yeah, I'll be streaming everything. Anything that I do, I'm going to stream over there. So I'd like you guys to go there and then just follow me up. I'm currently at 700 and something subscribers. Sorry, 700 and something followers. And I would like you guys to help me out to get to where I'm supposed to get to, right? So that I can produce more content for you. I'm going to create, I'll produce a very different content over there for you guys. And I know you're going to enjoy it. Yeah. So I'd like you guys to just do me that favor. Thank you very much in advance. <laughs> now let's get back to the video. All right. So just make sure you take your time when you're brushing for the best results. So I'm on the nose right now. Always make sure you're brushing within the tones. I always keep saying this. Make sure you're always brushing within the tones of the image that you're editing. All right. Make sure if you're working on the mid-tones, you're only brushing in the mid-tones. And if you're brushing in the highlights, you're only brushing in the highlights. And then the same thing applies to the shadows as well. So we just proceed like this, keep brushing. Now well, let me zoom out so we check how our image is looking. So this is how our image is looking. All right, so let me try and smooth in the side a little bit more. All right, let me just go to her body. It's already blurred, but I just want to correct the colors and then, yeah. 
Yeah, so this is how image is looking very nice. Yeah, let's check the before and after. This is the before, and this is the after. This is the before, and then the after. Our image is looking just more. I love it. All right, so let me just go ahead and then edit or retouch her lips a little bit. Just smoothing it up a little bit just to give it some smoothness, just a little bit. Yeah. All right, guys, so this is what we have it now, and it's looking just, just good. Yeah, I'm going to upload this to my Instagram so you can check it out over there. So I'm going to just proceed and then just clean up the eyes. Yeah, just whiten the eyes and then just color grade and then just upload it. Yeah, I'm going to try and then make a color grading tutorial as well for you guys so that you can just learn how to color grade as well. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye for now.